G'day everyone. Um, you guys all know that I love a bit of me time, so I'm going to take five or so minutes here. Um, so basically, um, coming into this season, I knew that it was likely to be my last. I've had some ongoing shoulder issues for, for the last few years um, that unfortunately haven't been getting any better. And s advice from surgeons and specialists um, and, and our medical team as well over the last sort of six weeks of their advice has been that I should retire from all levels of football um, to avoid the need for a, 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 an immediate term shoulder replacement. Um, and I've taken that advice and um, that's why I'm up here today is to, to announce my retirement from, from football. Um, I won't speak for too long because I know that someone will have put together a pretty good highlights package of me. <laughs> um, and I'm conscious you might want to watch it twice so we'll make sure there's heaps of time for that. If, you, if, if anyone's been paying attention, I don't know if anyone has, but if you have been paying attention to Wadey's medical reports, I'm the first player to actually officially retire from a finger injury. Um, so that's, thanks Wadey, I don't know where you are, but... <laughs> the last sort of month or so I've been spending some time thinking about when this was likely to happen and, and sort of wrapping my head around it. And I remembered reading Andre Agassi's book, which I actually gave to Chuggy recently, and he didn't know who Andre Agassi was, so that's a good start. But there are a few things in it that resonated with me. Um, particularly when he talked about the end of his career and, and his decision to retire. And he talked about the fact that nobody actually wants to retire. And that's a little bit how I feel up here today is that the last few weeks sitting outside the, the boundary line, I've thought about you guys before the game when you, you stand at the bottom of the race as a group, preparing to run out on the ground and just not knowing what is going to happen. And I used to hate that feeling when, it was, when I was in it, but now I've realised how much I loved it and I'm actually going to miss it. And even the, the thought of running down into the, the defensive goal square and who knows, I might stop my opponent from getting a kick, I might get 10 kicked on me, we've, we've seen both sides of that. But, but that feeling is something that I'm already starting to miss. So this is not a decision I'm making because I want to, it's a decision that I'm making because I need to for my long-term health um, and for the, the benefit of my family as well. I was going to take a leaf out of Brendan Bolton's book and get you to have a chat to the person next to you to tell me. <laughs> just, to, just to tell me what you guys loved about footy, I won't do that to you. I'll just tell you what I loved about footy um, over my journey and that's that um, it gave me the ability to contribute to something that was greater than, than just me and what I was ever going to be able to accomplish, which is pretty lucky because I've never been the fittest bloke, never been the strongest bloke quickest, the best kick, anything like that, but um, I found a way to, to squeeze all the juice out of my lemon, and I actually squeezed it so hard that my shoulder up. So there's a lesson in that, don't squeeze your lemon too hard. <laughs> squeeze the juice out of it, leave it alone. Um, start of the year, I promise I'm nearly, nearly there. Start of the year, um, we all talked about how we're going to honour the jumper and what we're going to do, and I talked about I'm going to support everyone in this room, players, staff, whoever you are. Um, and I was going to commit to that for the year. Sadly, I only got, got to commit to it for a quarter, um, but it's not going to stop now. It was easy for me to say at the time because it's how I've sort of approached my football career. Um, and it isn't going to stop now. I will be here till the end of the year in, in some capacity. Um, that'll start with, as, a, as a rehab training partner, similar to what Levi did last year, but conversations with, um, with Righty and Fly over the last few days, I'll, I'll still be around and I'll be getting a little bit of experience in different areas of the football department, so I'll still be here. Um, if anyone wants, needs any support as a player, as a staff member, whatever it is, please reach out to me um, and ask because I will be here for that. A um, few thank yous. Firstly to Collingwood Footy Club and the Western Bulldogs Football Club for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to play at the, the highest level. Um, something that I'll for, for, I will forever cherish. Um, a few coaches, or uh, well, all the coaches I've had along the journey. Um, the ones in, in recent times that stick out, Justin Longmuir and, and Matthew Boyd for helping me to enjoy the game again. Um, I went through a period where I would have left the game in a pretty dissatisfied place, but was able to reignite my passion for it and get a lot out of it, thanks to those guys. Um, the medical staff, particularly to Fuxi, Brash and Doc, Ruben, um, for your support through this process. And Riley, I'd like to point you out as well, you've been amazing in your transparency and, and support um, over the last sort of few weeks. All you guys sitting in here, my teammates along the journey, um, 
you're the reason that I've done it. Um, I know I've always had an old head, but spending time with, with the younger players here over the last few years, um, helping you to develop both as athletes and people is something that I've really enjoyed and appreciated. Um, so thank you all for helping me to contribute to something that means so much to so many people. My family, mum and dad, um, from all the way back to junior footy, late winter footy club in Ballarat, they've been at almost every game. Um, dad, I played 200, dad would have been to 195, I reckon, of my AFL games. Um, my brother Joel, even he supported the black and white a few times, I reckon, which was going to be a bit of a push when I first came here. Um, Bridges parents, Greg and Helen, um, we've been together for 12 years and, and those guys have been a, a tremendous support, support to me as well. Um, Bridge has been by my side for 198 of my 201 games. Um, I know it's been really hard due to the selfish manner of, of being a, a professional athlete. Um, you've had so many roles across the journey. Uh, you've been a nurse, you've been a confidant, you've been a supporter, um, you've been my best friend through the, the whole journey. Um, so thanks for helping me to get so much out of it and for helping me sort of become the person that I am today because it just wouldn't have been possible without you there. And I was sitting in the race taking my boots off and Paula caught me having a bit of a, a reflection um, and she got a bit emotional when she walked past. And I sort of said to her, don't be sad that it's over. Just be happy that it ever happened. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about it right now. Um, I'm also really happy that I won't have to chase checkers around for another summer. That's great. Um, but I don't want anyone to be sad for me. So I'm going to finish on an incredibly happy note. Um, they say one door closes and another opens. I'm going to be a rookie again. Um, I've got a hell of a lot to learn. Um, but my career as a dad is about to start. Um, so yeah, that's something that I get to finish here and wrap this up and then we go off for a 20-week baby scan. So it's, um, it's happy days ahead. But thank you so much for all your support. Um, really appreciate it and um, go Pies. Thank you for um, everything. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. Congratulations. Appreciate you. One of my favourites, my Joe. You know that. Oh no, boy. Thanks, dude. Congrats on day life. I'm on the dark side now, mate. On. Thank yeah, you. baby. I'm gonna need you for the rest of the year. Yeah, That's I'll cool. be here. Don't worry. On your squid. I know, mate. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Just make sure you're right to run Sunday, right? Yeah, <laughs> mate. I'll be right to run Sunday. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you. Yeah.